Is it appropriate for Catholic schools to fly or display the pride flag? In this episode, Trent Horn joins me to answer that question. As we record this, it's June 1 already here in the Philippines. Yeah, it, it is, yeah. 831 there. And there will be Catholic schools that instead of them celebrating the Sacred Heart of Jesus Month, they will be se- celebrating the pride flags. Aside from what you said, uh, what are the reasons why Catholic schools shouldn't fly the pride flag? Because it's confusing. It's confusing mm. because what that flag means when you go to LGBT, quote unquote, civil rights organizations, mm. uh, what they'll say is this flag means that uh, those who identify as LGBT ought to be treated equally. And what mm. that means to be treated equally also means you can't say that the behavior is immoral, uh, mm. just mm. like you can't say other, you know, interracial marriage mm. is immoral or you can say it, but you'll suffer consequences for that. Mm. Uh, in, in polite society, uh, and of mm. course, uh, did, and I would say that it's wrong to say that interracial marriage is immoral because there is nothing immoral about interracial marriage mm. because race is not a, a necessary element of marriage or sex. Uh, but the presence of various genitalia, the presence of being a man mm. or a, a man or a woman, that is necessary to the definition of marriage because marriage is not just whatever unites two adults or more than two adults marriage is what unites men and women to one another and to any children that may proceed from their union and yeah. anything beyond that that you call marriage is just disordered and it's, it's a counterfeit mm. uh so that's that's important to keep in mind mm. yeah and if the pride <clears throat> flag only represents like if you're you're having a pride march only because you're you're an activist against the oppression of uh, people who identify as LGBT. Let's say in Islamic countries, right. and that's that's everything. It's all about. It should be fine, but it represents more than that. And and right, and you can choose a different symbol to say when you agree with Pope Francis, for example, mm-hmm. that uh, homosexual conduct amongst adults should not be. Uh, should not be given the death penalty and nobody should be receiving the mm. death penalty mm. uh, but th- you know and you can you can point that out without using a symbol that is a symbol for evil mm. uh, so for example i mean if there was a country that was uh you know that that was well if there's you know a country that is mm. committing crimes against um muslims for example one could speak out against that mm. without flying the the star and crescent moon the symbol of mm. islam like a Catholic school shouldn't fly the flag that is representative of another world religion, even if you're trying to show solidarity with legitimate injustices being committed against members of that religion. Uh, mm. So, uh, so that that would be one example there. Hey, if you find value from that episode, you can watch the full interview with Trent Horn in this link right here. <laughs>